I, I gotta get the fucking graphics in. Hang on, here we go. Ooh, to the wolves. Yes. Now, this deserves some explanation. Hang on. Today's game was sent to me back in April, and I, I really wanted to show you the email that came with it because it embodies everything that pisses me off about unsolicited game marketing. Uh, I'm, oh, just gonna, I'm just going to read this out loud. First of all, it starts out with greetings. No name, no nothing. Didn't even bother copy-pasting in my name, but okay, fair enough. That's just a minor quibble. That's just a minor quibble. The second paragraph is where I really start to lose it, because it goes, I have observed that you have covered indie games such as Hades, Crypt of the Necrodancer, Just Shapes and Beats, Wander Song, The Bit Trip series, and Thomas Was Alone. End quote. I have well, covered- they've done their research, haven't they? I've covered they? none of those games. I know what you're thinking right now. Okay, lay off the guy, he made a game, he wants to get it out there, that's fine, you can just ignore it. No, this sort of shit pisses me off for two reasons, because one, it's clear that he just shotgun blasted his game at a long list of content creators hoping that someone would talk about his game without offering any incentive for doing so at all. What he's basically saying is give me free publicity and I'll do nothing for you. And two, even if he tailor-made each email to each content creator specifically and told us exactly why he thought we might be interested in covering his game, the email contains virtually no description of what the game is actually about. All it says is, and I quote, an action platformer about reflecting on your past that syncs the gameplay and music and the player's choices affect the story and certain game elements as well. End quote. That is it. That is literally the extent of what he has to say about his game. But... Joke's on him, because I am actually going to play his fucking game right now and throw it to the wolves, as we say. I have no idea what's going to happen once I launch this game. The game is called In Retrospect, so we'll see. It's Apparently it's an action platformer that has story in it and is something that I would very much appreciate, according to him. So we'll see. Well, I hope it ain't like that, uh, the game you had last week, that was just, uh, uh, if anyone had played Randall, Randall's Monday or whatever, it was just like... <laughs> oh, by the way, this is a, this is a music game, right? Also, I can't, I, I have to alt-tap out to adjust the volume? Oh, thanks. Off to a great start. I'm going to turn the game down slightly for the stream, and, uh, you guys in Discord, you can't hear the music, and you probably should. So I'm just gonna share the game window if it will let me. Should it? Here we. Okay, I'm I'm trying. I hope it I hope it worked. So when I put the game back up, you guys hear that? Yes. Yep. All right. Good. And it just went away. So every time I click out of the window, it. Okay, fine. It it goes out. So here we go. Press spacebar. It just farted at me. Cool. This is very Can Mega Man. As, as we go, oh, or... We have oh, yeah, just comment. End. Just wait, wait, uh, 10 minutes on the clock and say whatever's on your mind. Well, it's, it's uh, 8-bit Hyper Metal Mega Man. Yeah, so far. Let's just start a new story. Ah, the, tutorial. the tutorial. The menu doesn't match the title screen, though. No, in, in terms of aesthetic. No, and the... And the uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with casual. And the... The sound effects are really harsh. And now we're back to 16-bit. What? <laughs> Got a little lack of consistency. Oh, uh, that fucking... The fuck. sound effects are really... I'm confused, disoriented, and scared, but that's mainly because the sound effects are really harsh. I fucking hate when dickheads make a game and they say, oh, it's an 8-bit adventure, and then they just make it it's look not. like it's a It's not. It's 16-bit. <laughs> and I'm just like, it's 16-bit graphics and you're using 8-bit sound. Stop fucking... Fuck! <laughs> Sorry. I am a friend. I have no idea what's going on, but apparently my name is D. I wish to provide you with D. Actually, I've known you for a very long time, but who we are is, are is always in... Oh, that's gonna be one of those games, isn't it? I'm lost already. <laughs> Do you know where it's you are? The, uh... 
the NES version of Final Fantasy just get thrown into a thing where you go, hey, there's a pre-narrative that you'll never know about, but all of a sudden you should just know things. Yeah. Also, this text is, um, it, it auto-clears, so if you can't read it, uh, tough shit. If you don't have, if you can't read it in time, then tough shit. The only That's thing I can do is... Language. <laughs> There are a few things you will need to relearn. Are you ready to move forward? Okay, cool. We're gonna we're gonna get with the tutorial here. Not yet. Oh shit! I thought I was moving. Take your time. Space bar to continue. Excellent. So it tell no, sorry, sorry. It tells you to take your fucking time. Yet you can't read it quick enough. <laughs> okay, that I, that was the end of the tutorial. I think. All I said was I'm not ready. Oh. <laughs> Okay, jump. Yay. Is that Hover. Not a Mario, probably kind of... Space bar, then right arrow. I died. Okay, let's do that again. Activate switch. Okay. There's a lot of controls this already. Gonna an, this is going to be an endless runner. I think it is. There's six types of collectibles, holy shit. Maybe you want to space this tutorial out a bit. Why can't they put take your time at the end of each message there? <laughs> That's so dumb. Love is a hard creativity, is education is a book, spirituality is a flame. Which one is bullshit? All of All them. them. <laughs> Thanks. Also, the character sprite is really tiny, and the world is huge. And I get that in a in an endless runner, you want to be able to see as much of the screen as possible. But he's centered, like really, and he's really close to the center. Are you pumped? I wouldn't go that far. It's trying to be geometry. Yeah, P Pickle Dog says in the chat, it's trying to be geometry dash. Effervescence first telling, whatever that means. <laughs> This is how you remember your child. I can't read and, and look at this shit at the same time. This is fascinating. I've never seen anything like it. I have. I've seen this before. I'll leave you alone with your memories for a bit. Are these my memories? The uh, Commodore 64 Boulder Dash. That's what this reminds me of. Look, Mom, I'm platforming. Oh, I was supposed also to hover up to that. Can't help but notice there's keys all over the place, which the tutorial never mentioned. <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering about that as well. They didn't mention the funky portal that they jumped into at the end of the game, at uh, the end of the last level. That's, that's, um, dumb as fuck. Oh, God. Oh, oh, those hurt. Oh, those hurt. Okay. So, apparently these were our childhood memories. No, wait, we're still going. Oh, so that was just that was a, a checkpoint. checkpoint. Yeah. I hope you brought your swimming suit. I, because you were talking, dude, I didn't get to see what was happening this is if this is supposed to be a mellow sort of time where you're just kicking back and and you know chilling to this dude's memories i am not chilled i am very stressed out right now especially with this fucking gauntlet that looks like teenage mutant ninja turtles on the nest it does doesn't it it just needs that shitty seaweed yeah and the some bomb to disfuse and then you're done Ah, what the hell just happened? So now the game's just fucking with me. So, um, how's, uh, how's the music doing for you, lads? Music's okay. hated. It's not the kindest I can be about it. I was told that the game would synchronize to the music or your, your memories or whatever. Like, it would sync up. I don't really see that happening. I'm still trying to wonder what the point is of collecting all that shit. I apparently have... it's just collect and dodge shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little lost as well. Maybe it means you're supposed to jump and move in time with the music? I don't know. Yeah, but that didn't work. That, I mean, I've, I've seen, you know, like, uh, Geometry Dash and, sh and stuff where you're supposed to jump in time with the music. What the hell? What am I- my best friend telling the truth, baseball cards, finger paint? I don't know. Creative writing, praying, my drink stand. I'm gonna go with drink stand. I have no idea what the question was. Uh, getting a pet, reading stories, climbing trees, drawing monsters? Good.
do your memories help define you? Why would you put a time limit? Uh, there's, there's, take, there's take your time at the start of this game, and yet all the big character narrative decisions are yeah. now just like you've got you've got you've got four seconds to fucking pick that. Oh, it's so dumb. Now show me what happened next. What is this? Take your time. Me? Take your time. Yeah, relax. Your time. No pressure. No what pressure. the fuck kind of story do you want? <laughs> I think I, I will quit without saving. Okay. I don't think even the Telltale games were that brutal on, on hurry up, your choice. <laughs> I mean, that was an experience. I, I, I will, I will concede, of course, that I am not uh, the target target audience for this kind of uh, game. Uh, the creator of the game certainly thought I was. Um. <laughs> I, I, I feel that um, that was an experience that nobody wanted right yeah, now yeah I'm, I'm i'm not entirely sure what that was uh, about and now now granted i i will i will concede that as if it's a, like a one-man effort uh, at least you know the the mechanics were in place the, my computer didn't catch fire as it was trying to run it so i guess that's a bonus uh but yeah i'm just not really sure uh i i I'm, I'm not gonna say i enjoyed that but if if you did you can search for uh in retrospect it's on itch.io and this is the demo and i have no idea when there's going to be a release date or whatever i'm not entirely sure i care